Good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel. Yes, I am making videos. Today it is me, the wing man, because I am delivering that sauce. Ooh, that delicious sauce. I got the nice ice on the wrist. I got the nice haircut. It's me, the wing man. You know I got a haircut. Because guess what? I start a new job tomorrow. Tomorrow is my first day for my new job, so I had to look fresh, you know. Look like, uh, uh, I had to like somebody that's in their, you know, 30s professional, right? So I had to get the ice on. I also fly out to Roll Island tomorrow for the job. So do orientation in the morning. I fly out to the corporate office. And so got to do a couple of videos. So if you know about my videos, you know that I, I talk about financial planning, wealth management, personal finances, and how to make money in the stock market, whether it's as a beginner, in the middle, or even if you're a pro, you still may learn, learn a little few things from, from your boy, Kadero Hassan, the wingman. Today, we're going to uh, talk about uh, how much money I made in the stock market passive income-wise for the month of May. Woo! Yes! I made several changes to my dividend portfolio. Uh, some good, some bad, where uh, I, I had a dividend uh growth or dividend strategy of just uh, I had uh, several high yielders in, in my uh, dividend portfolio I had also several stocks that I was like uh do I want to keep and even now it's Sunday and I've, I've really been really thinking over this past even several days of just certain stocks do do I just even want to just keep in my portfolio uh because listen I'm 34 years old I want to retire by 50 and I am really toting that line where I want capital appreciation. I want my portfolio to grow to $500,000, $750,000. But I'm also wrestling with the idea of also that I want that income, right? I want uh, the income where uh, rather it's a stock paying me $200, $250, even get up there to $1,000, you know, every three months. And so... I've been wrestling with that thought where high, how high, high yielding stocks, they pay well. I'm stuck with having to realize that I'll have to pay the taxes right now, but then also have to realize that it doesn't appreciate that much compared to a low yielding stock like Apple, where they buy stock buybacks and then my overall stock will grow up in value, but it pays less dividends. So that's what I've been wrestling with right now. So I've been, so I've been, doing a lot of adjustments to my different portfolio, but let's dive in right now. And so the first stock that, that paid me a dividend for the month of May was Air Products and Chemicals for $6.14. I received $26.65 from Avi on May 15th. Also on May 15th, I received a dividend of $4.76 from uh, Kinder Morgan. I uh, also received $15.68 from uh, Morgan Stanley. And all these, these dividends that I, that I have received, I have had to re, uh, reinvest within itself to buy more shares uh, for that compound interest. And so uh, the next day, on May 16th, uh, I received a dividend of $12.11 for uh Texas Instruments, uh, ticket symbol TXN. This stock that I, I do plan on buying at least three hundred fifty to about three hundred dollars more of, so I can so I can get it up to at least buy at least one share every quarter that pays out. Currently, it's, it's paying me eighteen dollars and sixty nine cent, and that is uh, Enterprise Products, and that paid me the dividend on May twenty fourth of this year, twenty twenty three, and then also. Uh, lastly, the last stock that really uh, paid me was um, Starbucks. And I love, honestly, out of all of my dividend stocks, I love Starbucks. I, I, I love the the way that Starbucks, um, just the people going to get the Starbucks right that's in the city, because I'm in Houston, or when I go to the airport to fly out somewhere, to seeing it, it is universal that everybody need, need their coffee. And then since I had, like, a, I had about $750 into the high yield money market account, I received like some like interest by keeping the money because uh, I, I keep a little some dry powder on the side so that when uh, it's time for me to uh, buy, buy some stocks, I buy it. And then uh, as you see, since it's, it's I'm doing this, since I'm doing this video for May and it's, it's uh, 
it is June. As you see right here, I, I have dividends already uh, come in for the month of June that I'll, that I'll cover next month uh, in July. So right here, my my uh, dividend portfolio, uh, it's up. So uh, what happened is that I I dropped five hundred. Uh, I dropped five thousand dollars into my dividend growth portfolio a couple days ago, um, and then I, I I put money into it when it was when it was down when it was they had, they had that that debt debt. Uh, that ceilings talk where the market was going down because the market ended up going up on Thursday and Friday of last week, but uh, but last week around Monday or Tuesday, the market was down heavily because the whole debt ceiling talk. There's no reconciliation, yada yada yada. So when the market kept was tanking and tanking, I put five thousand dollars in the market and I, t I took advantage. And so I bought some Apple, I bought some, uh, some uh, Williams and uh, Sonoma. I, I took advantage. I'm not gonna lie. I took advantage and, and I actually uh, dove in and bought several stocks. And so right here, um, I, I like to go on to simply save dividends. And when I go on to simply save save dividends, you, I'm able to see my whole uh, income calendar. And so this right here shows the income calendar of the dividends that I'm going to be paid for a month of June. But we're not gonna talk about that. We're focusing on May right now. And so right here, uh, I showed you on Fidelity the actual account because I like I like to go through my Fidelity account just to show that like I mean what I say because a lot of times we can go through the dividends that we received in our uh, dividend trackers, but I mean anybody can put anything in in, in the dividend tracker, right? So I, I can easily say, oh yeah, I'm making fifteen hundred dollars passive income wise in the dividend tracker because I just put something in there, but I like to show my actual Fidelity account without minus the numbers, but actually the transactions because to see like, oh, okay, like, you know, if I, so if I told you I use Fidelity or Vanguard or eToro and I don't show you it, then that's like, that's like uh, uh, network marketing. Like I'm just leading you to a strap. I'm lying to you. And so a, a lot of these right here to show right here, uh, a lot of those, those dividends that I said, said I was going to get, boom. So the the 1583, the uh, uh, the, the uh, 618, and the 2692, and 1469, all of these is right here. This is what I, I showed you that I got right here. So it it it, it, it lines it matches up. So if I say that, hey, this I'm planning on making this, I'm showing you guys that you know A to A, apples to apples, that I did get those dividends. And so uh, I will say that the first and second months of the, the, the particular quarter, you know, I, I, I make close to, I want to say close to a uh, hundred dollars on an annual, on an average basis, uh, in, in dividend income. But for the most part, the third month is my bread and butter where I make over $150 in passive income. Uh, but yes. So right here with my purchases, just for this dividend portfolio alone, I am up to uh, annual income of, uh, 1,000, uh, one thousand five hundred and fifty two dollars uh and I, I believe my goal that I, I want i wanted to set for this year was fifteen hundred because i believe i was at um i think i was at fourteen hundred as of like last year when i was investing uh or i think my goal was good uh seventeen hundred i don't know <laughs> i gotta reassess my goals so lastly lastly uh I like to show this on, on my uh, tracker dividends where uh, May has already ended. So this I'm, I'm looking to make for the upcoming month, $169. And then it's uh, what I like here. It actually has the the actual breakdown of the, the stocks and then the, 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 the month and then the, the total right here at the bottom. So uh, the, the second month will, will coincide right here with August. And so right here, it showed you that uh, in the next, in August, the next equivalent month of May, which would be August in the like the quarter type of schedule, uh, I'm going to be receiving a new dividends from, uh, so a dollar 80 from Apple. Uh, I'm going to re receive more money from APD because of, of the reinvestment. I'm going to receive more money from uh, EPD from the dividend Re reinvestment. 
I gotta up, I gotta update EPD, and then rev and I have to I have to actually update these stocks that got uh, the stocks uh, reinvest because the the dividends just cleared in, in my Fidelity account, and so the my cost savings and all that has, has just been uh, updated. So then now I have, I have to go here and track your dividends to update um, my uh, dividend tracker. So as of right now, uh, that's right here. I'm, I'm really trying to get the months of February, um, Fe February, May, August, and November. I'm really, I'm, I'm at $99 of passive income. And what my next buys in next month, because June, my next buys next month, I plan on buying another $2,500 worth of dividend stocks. And hopefully with my purchases of Williams Sonoma and Starbucks, should in, in, increase this to over a hundred dollars and i'll finally be on uh, all of the months will be at least over at an average of a hundred dollars so that's that's my goal uh since yeah so as uh, so as you as you guys see right now i'm i'm making in the dividend portfolio one thousand five hundred close five five hundred fifty dollars with a dividend uh with a portfolio uh, yield of 3.36 and a yield on cost of 3.69 and I officially made uh, close to $100 uh, for the month of May. So hopefully you guys enjoyed my video. and we be going over my dividend income. And, oh, and you look to the, uh, to, the, to the left or to the right, you're going to see a video that's going to pop up. And then click, click on it. Uh, it's going to be, be going over my, my dividend income for my old whole entire portfolio. Uh, and after that, you know, if you want to learn just how to invest in the stock market all together, Click on this video right here and learn how to make money passively or through affiliate marketing, whichever you want to choose. Peace.